Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on set in the mid lane. For those of you who aren't aware, he's currently a top five mid laner. A lot of people are realizing just how broken D shield plus second wind are. Most mid laners don't have the sustained damage to rip through a D shield healing in second wind because every time they hit you, you'll be healing a crap load. With that being said, uh, your best matchups on set are generally against more melee squishy matchups, things like Jace, Yasuo, Garen. Set also does quite well against squishy range matchups that ha have uh, shorter range, things like Lucian and Auction. Set also wrecks. Basically, anything that he directly counters with his R, they don't want you on him, and you can kill him with just a few hits. For your runes, you can go for Fleet or Conquer. You should only take Fleet in matchups against like Heimerdinger, or Super Poke matchups you can't engage on, and then otherwise. You would go Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Unflinching, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. Up against Yastowo, we want to look for an, immediately, an immediate trade. We're going to set up a left-right. We want to get our right hand ready because your right hand does more damage and has faster attack speed. I'll attack him in the pull, and then we can look for a big trade there. We already have more Conquer stacked up when we take the E auto auto trade. Ideally, you already have your right hand set up because you burn your left, then you have two seconds to take a right. And every time you're ease up, you want to try to trade as long as you're not going to take a crazy amount of damage. If you pull multiple things, it's a stun instead of just a slow in a pull. So since we get him against the minions there, you get a nice big trade. You can get your Q or W level two. It just depends on the matchup against Yasuo. I think I'd rather have my Q. It's a good auto attack reset. Auto auto Q auto auto. That was a really good trade for us. We got him low on HP. I don't think he took very good runes for this type of matchup. Maybe he's gonna play Lethality Yasuo. This is not a great matchup for Yasuo because every time he steps up, we can bonk him with our ER. E slightly outranges his Q, so he can't just step up and try to poke us with Qs. There it is. And then we get him with W on the wave when he's trying to get out. Your W has more range than your autos. You generally want to E then W though, because your E will slow them and stun them. So it makes it really easy to land your W because you want to land W tips. We can Q towards him for the speed up and then smack him with our E. Do that here in a second. Auto, auto into W. And this guy's dead. Yeah, you can't fight set like that, boy. That's fine. You want to max your Q first. He's dead. We just cancel that. Hit him with the Q. Down he goes. These guys are going to be in a lot of trouble. We have a massive gold lead now. You don't necessarily want to gank set if your laner's low on health. He's one of those champions where a lot of CC, a lot of damage... A lot of burst, a lot of survivability because of his W shield. We're gonna keep maxing our Q first, I'll be second in E last. For your first item rush, you go Frozen Gauntlets or Stride Break. Stride Break's a bit better. It feels a lot nicer. You only go for Frozen Gauntlets if your team needs a big front line because front Frozen Gauntlets do make you tankier. We already have a Mundo though, so we don't necessarily need a big front line. We can play more of a Bruiser carry rather than a tank carry. We'll be looking for Stride Break into Titanic. It has a lot of on hit through his passive since his right auto attack lands fast. Left, right, left, right, left, right. So you can put out a lot of damage with some on hit items like Titanic and Bork. Sterix is also good. Death Stance is good. We want to speed up into him as he steps up. We'll give him some space to breathe. I'll act like I'm scared, but I mean, I have red buff. I can all in him here. I'll flash into him. He's in trouble. Down he goes. That's why you take Ghost on set. It lets you run him down. And since you have your left, right, your auto attacks are kind of like using abilities to where not many champions can outmatch that damage output. In fact, set jungle beats Warwick jungle because the left, right is just that good. When you're in a chase down situation, you'll generally save your W until they're outside your auto attack range. That way you can get as much damage on them as possible to increase your chances of getting the kill. We can look for a roam now. 
It's a pretty funny matchup. We don't want to necessarily fight him underneath this turret, though. We'll pop a potion. We can bait fiddle here a bit. Kill him on his raptors if he's foolish enough to step up. We'll stun him into it here in a second. Get him with the middle. We'll take him with our R so he can't CC us. Oh, wait. I already thought he burned his dash. Q into him, but he flashes. Down he goes. Those six is going to have a really hard time. We, we're, we'll speed up into her here. There's the speed up. We get the stun off of the monster. And we find the center of the cone. I think she would have died there because we have so much AD. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Jin's rotating. I can crush him. I'm down. Oh, he's actually really fast. I guess we got to leave. He's doing a lot of damage and he has Swifties. He's really, really, really fast. I'm going to go ahead and take the plants and stay. I still have more gold spent than Yasuo. We can stick around and kill him. What is going on? Everyone's trying to mess with us. I just want to get back to lane, bro. Our whole team's coming after us. Ours on a cooldown. I don't have flash or ghost. I can stun him into the minions here, though. Not a horrible trade. I don't want to play in that crack. If you play in the crack, you'll die. Once again, your Q is an auto attack reset and it's also increased damage for your next two autos. Plus movement speed against champions. It can be a great last hit tool. Stun him against that minion. I needed Muno to land a cleaver there. It's all right. Yasuo is pretty fast. My Q's on cooldown. It's not easy to keep up with him. Go for W max second, E max last. We can kill him underneath turret here. We need to get more grit built up off of our R though. There it is. E, Q, auto, auto, and W. Down he goes. Getting a lot of plates off of him. Oh, we're going to have to run this way. We're going to shield that off. Take him into that. Oh, we might actually live. We might actually live. Oh, it feels bad for him, man. <laughs> he burnt so much for that. He ghosted. I'm not sure if he flashed. We got his R. He's also fed too yet. Well, relatively speaking, he has one kill. No does. Yeah, tier two boots. <laughs> Blast cone OP. All right, we can get stride break. We'll build in for plated here. We don't have any tenacity and they do have a fiddle stick, so we might actually have to go for Merc Treads. If you're going to be building something like Merc Treads against the physical damage in mid laner, you want to delay it for as long as possible so you, you still have good value in lane. Stride break, you usually use it when you're running up to them with your Q. If you can reach them with a QE alone, then you can save it till after. Just like stride break W and land a lot of damage that way. They push the waves so fast with no mana cost. It's actually so nice. We'll Q into him, hit him with an E, stride break W. Stride break into the W and then he's slowed and can't dodge the middle so we get all that juicy true damage. Ah, oh, he's scared. I'll take a turret shot for that. Fiddlesticks could arm me any second here. I do have flash. I don't think he even has flash. Fiddle's gonna hit me from my right side. He just took dragon. Got on stride break, and now we'll walk him down. If you don't need to use W, then don't, because they can flash it or potentially dodge it. So there, it was better to just walk him down. We'll be taking his turret. We have so much HP. Fiddle shouldn't be able to kill us. He's not fed either. He won't have the damage to do so, even if he does R. We're standing on this side of the wall, because I figured that would happen. Kind of cutting him off of his jungle here. Hey, friend. 
I'll take him with me. Get him with a W, we'll run out. Down he goes. Get him with the Q reset there. Yeah, he's he's scared. We need him to step up a little bit so we can kill him. We have red buff plus stride break advantage. He can't fight us here even though we're low on health. Run up with the Q, get him with the E. Stride break into the W. We missed our W though, it shouldn't matter. We're just a lot bigger than him right now. Even if he lands his R and we don't get amazing value from W, it's not enough for him. We'll probably do a part two if this ends pre-25 minute. This is such an easy matchup for set two that even if it's your first time playing set mid, it's kind of hard to lose the set in the Yasuo matchup. It's really straightforward. Every time you're ease up and he you're close enough to a minion, you just pop up with your E. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, W. Really, really straightforward. I'm gonna rotate on this fiddlesticks. Psych. Get him with our W. Oh, he killed us. Oh, he almost killed us. I missed my W because he slid through us there. We were taking a lot of turret damage. Oh, I could kill Fiddle here. We're healing back really fast. Red buff out of combat plus the D shield. Hey, Fiddle. I'll slam you against the Herald. Doesn't seem like it lets you stun people against Herald, though. Kind of interesting. Auto, auto, Q reset. Take that ward and get out of here, dude. Oh, second item rush. Titanic's looking pretty good right about now. I'll go for Merc Treads. The lane phase is already over. Going Merc Treads into Yasuo isn't bad here. We have a big lead. If we didn't have a big lead, I would delay the Merc Treads until after my Titanic. We're definitely gonna want it because we didn't take Tenacity in our runes. They have the Lulu Polymorph and the Fiddle Fear. Having Merc Treads is gonna make a big difference there. If you are about to get CC'd, a lot of times you want a W on set because they can't cancel that and your W is such a long animation, oops, that you don't lose out on very much, even if they CC you. Must have flashed the wall there. We could look for a roam bot side. Him and Fiddle can't fight me 2v1. We'll Q into him for the speed up. He's pretty quick himself. He has tier two boots. <laughs> Is he actually gonna step up for that? Hey guys, you guys wanna fight? Get him with the stride break, walk him down. He's trying to R away. Finish him off with a W, or at least tried to. That's unfortunate. I didn't want to have to burn R. Got him with the W center, so he dies. I need to use this minion to stun Lulu. If I can get her with a stride break, that would be ideal. Oh, I'm just dead here. Oh, not like this. Oh, <laughs> the ghost is too good. Feels bad, Jin. Get good. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> can't catch me, dude. I'm the gingerbread man. And we're out of here. Yeah, set speed up, it's only 30% movement speed. Not that big for a second and a half. It's time to reset. We'll sell cloth armor, pick up Titanic. And next item we'll go for Sterix, I think. More damage, or you could go Bork. Bork is an absolute shred tool. If they have real tanks on their team, like Orn Ramus, Bork's good. Since they don't have a real tank, there's really no reason for us to go Bork. They're all pretty squishy. I'll try to end this game soon. I want to do a part two. I want to play against a harder matchup, or at least a different matchup. Like I said, Yasuo is too easy. Your E outranges his Q, your autos do more damage than his autos. You have your Q reset and your big shield. I'm gonna pull this out. Fiddlesticks is top side, they shouldn't be able to steal this. 
We don't have any life still, so we'll take some damage for this. I can go take a red buff on the map, though. I think Fiddle Red buff might even be up. Got it. Still have a lot of HP. Q into him. E, auto, auto, W. Hey, friend. Get him with a stride break and a W. And then he uses his R to dodge our W, but now he's going to die anyways. That's generally how you want to use your W, though. After the E, and if you're about to get CC'd, you start it. It's a really long channel that they can't cancel. So it's not a channel, it's just a long animation ability. If you're going to be CC'd, you might as well be pinching off your W. Q into him, get the hook, auto, auto into the stride break W. Down he goes. Oh, uh, they're fed. They're popping off over there on my teammates. The Darius is coming for me. I don't know if he's on Ghost either, so we just we need to zoom out of here. Red buff's up too. That sucks. I could have gotten that. Oh, I needed a W. I didn't think he had his R. That sucks. I might have actually been able to live because I had a lot of W built up there. That's really unfortunate. I'm going Bork next. I, I don't care. We need the Bork. When we stunned him, he had already activated his Q. And so he hit us with Q-Tipper even though he was stunned. That spacing is so unfortunate on the set E stun there. If it was a tighter ability, we would have been fine. We also would have been fine if we used our W there. We would have chunked him and also blocked over 400 damage. The only reason why he turned is we had more gold spent. We had a full item up on him. And we also were going to get off the first two autos since he was blind approaching brush. We could hit him at least minimum once, if not twice, before he gets an auto in return. So I think we made the right call to turn. I just I messed up by not using my W to block his R. I had slow reaction time there. We'll play for this Herald and try to end. We'll grab Herald, kill mm, two to five of them, and then lay it and end. Darius got a lot of gold from that. I'm gonna crush him over here. Hey friend, stride break. Oh, he's getting away. Oh, he got away. <laughs> that sucks. I think he flashed though, it's whatever. Oh well, scuttle and the herald then end. Fiddle's doing some stuff. They're not that far behind. Even though we have way more kills, they've been getting shutdowns, and we haven't really gotten any shutdowns because their team's been behind for most of this game. Down goes Fiddlesticks, and I want this Herald. You generally give it to Jungler. Whoever starts it, though, if you've been starting it solo for a while, is the person who gets it, and we started it. Got our Q going into him. Just need to find the E now. In the stride break into W. Uh, I lost vision. Dang. I don't think Mundo's even gonna be able to kill him. Oh, spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. The Darius is dead. Might as well lay Harold. I'm gonna take Lulu. I wanna get out of the turret range. Pop him with a W cone, get value from our shield. Q into him. He already feared me, so he can't fear me immediately. Hit him with stride break, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. I actually couldn't Q because I was silenced. You get the point. Jin's the only one alive. Down he goes. Oh, I need a turn. He's gonna have R, yep. Oh, it's not worth. I gave them so much gold there. Their base is at least really thinned out though. That's gotta count for something. After Bort, should pick up Sterix or Death's Dance or even a Dead Man's. I kinda want more mobility to fill the Dead Man's. It's such an awkward item to buy at this point in the game. 
they're all running away from me so it's kind of worth plus they're all ad heavy you could leave it on wing moon plate the five percent movement seeds really all you need from it forgot we actually do have some tenacity in our runes from the unflinching the lower on health we are the more tenacity and slow resistance we get you really take the resolve tree for a second win it does so much against poke matchups and challenging matches it keeps you alive things like malzahar syndra they'll burn all their mana trying to kill you things like lucian and auction they can't poke you down effectively and then whenever your q and e is up you can q e into them auto auto w and trade really well i'm assuming that bush isn't warded at the same time they're not approaching it so who knows window missed his cleaver brand lands is stunned oh nice Lulu must not have had R there. She didn't realize he was actually going to die from that. I think you can actually R Fiddle Effigy if you do it fast enough. There's no point though. You might as well R Fiddle Six and not his Effigy. You typically want to grab their tankiest person and drop him right into their team. The tankier they are, the more damage it'll do to their whole team. It does damage based off their HP and they quit. We'll go ahead and do a part two, give you guys another flavor of set in the mid lane because he's a whole lot of fun and he's a top five mid laner right now. I will see you guys there in part two. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of set mid lane action. We have Conquer Triumphal Alacrity, last stand again with second win unflinching. Attack speed 18 armor once again, same setup. We're up against a Sivir mid. I don't know if this is a niche weird counter pick to set mid. I wouldn't be surprised if it was because of her spell shield. It's going to be hard to pull her. She sh certainly shouldn't have it level one though, so we can try to cheese her if she doesn't space perfectly. You always really want to look for the invade level one on set. He's very strong, so once again, his auto attacks hit super, super heavy. And um, I didn't even realize that. Set's passive, he gets extra health regeneration per missing HP. I don't know if that's a relatively recent addition or if it's always had that, but that seems like a weird tack on because his left right's obvious, but then to give him a random stat check style additions kind of weird their their team comp's interesting yeah the team of jungle that's gonna be good against us trist and the shaco i guess not ap shaco it's gonna be bad against ap shaco and the morgue but good against everything else Let's see if we can find a quick trade on her it's not gonna be easy psych auto attack auto auto attack auto that was such a good trade she had one little like missed spacing on the E and then she loses most of her HP for it. Oh, come on, baby. We get her flash and heal off that. That's delicious. This is the type of stuff we have to do early. Shaco, did you? Oh, he really didn't kill her. Are you serious, dude? Hit her with the auto first. What a dingleberry. It's gonna be so hard to kill her now. Psych. We get the kill. We ghost into her with the Q speed up E. We pick up the kill. Ghost is so nice on set. He's an extremely immobile champion. If you utilize your ghost and flash correctly, then you can find a lot of kills. We're missing so many minions though. Holy crap. We're missing way too many. We did get a kill, but still we shouldn't be missing this many. Oh my god all right we got the wave shoved we're chilling i don't think we're gonna be able to kill her for a while now i think killing her is gonna get really hard once she has her spell shield just gets the kill pike screwed Tris has jump resets off that as well we'll look for boots cloth armor and i'm not even gonna get a control word i'll head back to lane she doesn't have flash she doesn't have heal she burned those. Heals a longer cooldown than my ghost. They quit. Are you kidding me? Apparently one of them is AFK. That's unfortunate. All right, we're doing a part three. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part three up against another Yasuo. This one took lethal tempo. Should be interesting. I decided to start with D-Blade since Yasuo doesn't have much poke. We shouldn't really need the D-Shield. This will give us much more all-in potential. He also took Ignite. Most likely, we'll kill him on level two power spike. We'll still trade off every time our E's up. 
We'll stun him into auto auto and we can trade back, run away if we need to and wait for our next E. You should look for the invade on set. My team wasn't interested, so we're not going to. We have a Ramus. Ramus top starting to become slightly meta, slightly more popular. I think Mord is one of its more worst matchups in the game though, so good luck to him. Their scaling is actually kind of scary. They have Malphite support with the Yasuo, that's big. Mordekaiser against our melee heavy team. Ezreal, the only one who falls off is Shaco, and even then. We have the Senna scaling and the Echo and kind of me. So we'll see. I know Felio scales, but that champion has such a high skill curve, and I don't think he's necessarily meta right now. We have the Conquer Triumph, Alacrity, Last Dance, second one unflinching, attack speed 80 and armor. We can prep our right hand for when he steps up here, just like so. And then look for the E. You have two seconds to do your right hand. It's two or three seconds. Right hand's much easier to last hit with. He knows, I think he knows he can't step up for this. Get the hook. Very nice. I want him to miss that minion, but he gets it with his Q. His Q range is annoying. My E range is more than his Q range. But uh, his Q is obviously much lower cooldown than my E. We have minion advantage. We can look to fight him. He's playing really safe though. He's just trying to stay alive seemingly. He is missing some CS fortunately. We're going to Q reset. Got the push into him. That was a decent trade for us. We have minion advantage, so he really shouldn't be trying to fight us like that. We're level three, we can take a big trade with him. I don't want him to get all these minions. We miss our W. We'll ghost away. I don't feel like dying. I'll burn both sums if I have to. That Shaco gank was giga cheesy. It is what it is. He's gonna have to push the wave. Actually, I'll stay. He burned his ignite. I want this wave. This is a lot of minions and a lot of XP I'd be missing. Set also heals really fast because passive and whatnot. We got him underneath the turret. Feels bad for him. Down he goes. We have so much healing per second. It's kind of nuts. We're gonna go for that Q max first. Kind of want to just dump the wave. We'll hook the whole thing together. After you hook, you want to use your W. We didn't have our W up though. Q reset. All right, we got the wave push. We're ready to get out of here. Flash Ghost allowed us to live. If we didn't have Flash Ghost, we probably would have died to that shake of gain because we were up so deep. First item rush. I'm feeling the plated steel caps. I think it's worth it because Yasuo is really all physical damage and uh, the Shaco as well, so I don't think this is an AP Shaco. He took Hello Blades. It's gonna help us run him down, take great trades. It's gonna help us escape ganks, survive ganks. It's gonna be really valuable. They also have triple AD with the Ezreal, Yas, Shaco, so it'll be good even in the later of the game. He crashed the wave, he's looking to roam. That's unfortunate, we missed Cannon. It was like, we had Vision of Yasuo so long ago and he's probably gonna have a successful roam. That's frustrating. We had Vision of him like 30 seconds ahead of time and we ping. Doesn't look like he actually got a kill, which is good. But uh, yeah, he's gonna miss out on a lot of golden XP from that. We're gonna hit level six before him and then we can have much better roams than what he just had. Mord gets a double kill, that's not good. Apparently I didn't have my teammates muted. Get the hook on him into W right as he's fearing us. Auto auto into R, down he goes and we're out of there. It was a Q auto auto R. We have red buff here, we could potentially roam. Is this a cannon wave? All right, yeah, it's perfect time to back then. I'll actually go for a Bork Rush. Bork Rush is really fun. And their team is, I think, going to be very receptive to my Bork Rush. Yasha's easy to mash on. Shaco's easy to mash on. So is the Mord. We'll probably just Bork into Stride Break. 
Yasuo is so easy to get to and he took a lethal tempo. He's going to want to trade off lots of autos. Orc's perfect for that on set. For your left, right, left, right. He's not going to want to fight because we have the red buff. What we want to do is kind of freeze it here. We need to thin out these uh, extra minions though. The cannon hits like three range creeps. He's, well, he really wants to step up for these minions. I'm going to act like I'm going to let him. That, that was actually good spacing by him, but he doesn't have enough space to actually get one of these. Yeah, he's, he's just going to have to wait. My wave's, gonna, my wave's starting to push right now anyways. Get the hook. And we get off the W and we live. We tanked him full HP underneath turret. That's the power of Ghost. I have to leave that. I don't know where Shaco's at. If I was salty, I'd be. If I was Yasuo, I'd be really salty. He's gonna miss two full waves, and this wave's gonna be underneath turret, so it's gonna reset back to us. We're healing so fast, 16 health per second. We get him with a W. He's dead. That is hilarious. Nice try, Shaco. He's full health. I'm low health. We kill him. <laughs> That's the power of using your W right when their CC is going off on you because you're not really losing any active time because your W takes so long to actually cast. I'm going to keep going for the Bork. Pick up this and we'll head back to lane. His way is pushing back to us since we crashed it. We're going to get a huge minion advantage, keeping our golden XP up. With, with Bork, we should be able to solo more to easy. Uh... Ram just needs to swap me because I can solo more pretty straightforward. So easy to last hit with attack speed on set. I say that as I miss a minion. He needs to run. There's no reason for Rams to be playing Mord at this point. I've already gotten fed off the Yaw, so I might as well go kill the Mord. Ramus might have me muted, so he might not even know that I'm saying we should switch. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Your Q even does bonus damage against turrets, which is nice. Don't mind if I do. We're getting a lot of plates. Yasuo must want to swap lanes. I'll let him lane here. I can destroy these guys really hard. I have so much gold spent. Even with the plated in the mord, we should be able to take him. I think we can. We have R up. We might be able to kill Yasuo. He has red buff. That's kind of annoying. That's not going to be easy to fight. I'll act like I'm not interested. And then it'll make him feel safer. And he'll play up further. If you immediately walk straight at them like a dog on the attack, they'll play farther back. Auto attack Q reset. Or as we would miss that minion. We'll look to shove the wave. He's probably trying to back and spend his gold. Bad to guess. We'll pull the wave together. It's kind of sloppy of a pull. Got a shove. Might even be able to get a plate here before he gets back. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Yasuo, Shaco mid, two of them bot. So the only one who's going to be killing me here is more. Shaco's going to his red buff right now. Set is such a turret shredder. You already got two plates before this guy could get back. Yeah, later, Mordekaiser. I'm going straight for your jungler, buddy. He doesn't even know it. I'm hoping Shaco's Q still on cooldown. It's probably not, though. Ah, oh, it sucks. He knew I was there. Ah, he took it too soon before I could get there. Yeah, so was looking for me. All right, we'll take Scuttle. It's whatever. We can get full Bork at this point. Be really, really strong. Then I kind of want to try fighting him as is, though. We're level, we're level up on him. I used my W kind of soon there. I'm going to miss a lot of minions. He's being a little butthole. I'm trying to jump him into my turret. I, I could here. We get him with that big slow. Down he goes. Oh, just die, buddy. Down he goes. The beauty of having flash and ghost on set cannot be overstated. Uh, 
so much better than having anything else. Flash Ghost set mid literally has a 55% win rate. And then with his top build, it's around 70%. It's disgusting. Very, very disgusting. Your worst matchups on set mid are against Annie. Champions that have good range and really good hard point and click CC that they can just outspace you really easily. Set plays best against champions where he can close distance with his Q and with his R. If you can't even close distance with your Q or your R, it's kind of hard to play against it. Or at, or at the very least, you're not going to be able to get many solo kills against it in lane. I almost just took his turret. He missed his Q. I might actually be able to beat him there. I'm not going to force it, though, because I'm sitting on so much gold. I want him to come to me. Q into him. He gets the stun. Well, almost gets it. That's really solid. I'll push this wave, and then we'll get this first turret. Rama should be able to play against Yasuo, but it seems like he's even losing against the Yas. Maybe he ran double magic resist in his runes. I can see that being the case. Echo should be able to solo this guy. Oh man, Echo's in trouble. I need to reset. I'm sitting on so much gold, it's ridiculous actually ridiculous and i still have my r's up too here to probably fight this where did shaco go hey friend down you go buddy we get the herald shaco dies it's a beautiful thing to see we have enough for bork and enough almost enough for another item well we could go frostfire could go frostfire it would be strong too, it wouldn't be weak. We'll go for stride break. I want more damage. Frostfire does give you some damage, but not as much as stride break. Somehow, we're actually losing this game right now, at least in terms of kills. They have two more kills than our team has. That's pretty nutty. Our bot lane is decently far behind at the moment. I'll just sit on the split push till a ghost is up. When your ghost is up, you can team fight on set in the same way a Trindomir can. So crazy how much health regeneration you get back from your passive. It's, it's so arbitrary to throw that in. His left right is already a good enough passive as is, and then they randomly give him extra health regeneration on his passive. Like, how is Mundo passive special if Set just randomly has health regeneration on his passive? Doesn't make sense. I did more to AFK. If he's sitting underneath turret, I'm gonna take these camps. And if he's not here, I'm gonna take this turret real quick. Boom, boom. Your right hand hits turret nice and good. Hey buddy, why don't you sit on that? He's actually doing a lot of damage. He has Rift Maker. Suppose he was in base buying that. Their red buff's coming up soon. It's a great. That means it's up in it's like a minute or 50 seconds, something like that. They keep changing it. It might just be 30 seconds. Yeah, get those sit-ups. Oh, yeah. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. He's shoving the lane. We'll go say hello here in a second. Getting the red buff's going to give us a lot of damage and extra slow, and it's going to heal us up really fast out of combat with enemy champs and turrets. Oh, he already shoved in the wave. Damn, I just missed a lot of minions. Yeah, thanks, Mord. Appreciate the leash, buddy. Yeah, I, I just missed so many minions. That makes me sad. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight me. I don't blame him. I should group for dragon. Raptors are up. The kills on both teams are just tied right now. They're trying to group on me here. It's kind of funny. Is this the real one? Oh my god, that was. What is he doing? He's probably ticked at Mord for that. 
He's gonna feel like Mord let him die, but they can't fight me. I have R up, and I have sums and red buff, and item advantage. Hey, friend. Got the pull. Goodbye, Ezreal. Oh, I thought Mord was going this way. I ran the wrong way. I do have ghost extensions, though. They're all running away from me, as is. Dang, that sucks. Oh, well. Oh, we burned our ghost for... I mean, our flash for nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to bother using my E or W on these camps. I can clear it so fast as is. I'd rather keep my E and W up for champions if they step up on us. Let Ramus have that. He's pretty far behind. We'll let him catch back up into the game. He'll be really useful against Ezreal and, and uh, Yasuo. Where did he go? Oh, he went that way. I'm taking you with me, buddy. <laughs> Got him. You can pull people out of their dashes, leaps. Uh, if they're in air, it doesn't matter. Your R will grab them. It will suppress them. They can't cleanse it. Hey, I think they can QSS it, though. A lot of damage and a big slow at the end. Plus, you can dump them on their teammates to do massive AoE damage. It does more the tankier the target you grab is. So if you can jump a Zac into his team or an Orn, it's delicious. Hey, friend. You want to fight Yasuo? He burned his flash just to not die there. That's kind of hilarious. I'm going to go take their camps. I need to keep our CS nice and high. You can't fight us at all. The set shield's too good. And we'll go for... I kind of want to go for an on-hit mythic like Kraken Slayer for maximum damage here, just for fun. Kraken would be good against their team as well. I'm not a big fan of Trinity on set. Uh, okay, I'll go to Stride. It's whatever. We'll go Titanic next. The thing is, I'm already built so deep into Stride that if I stop now, I don't really have anything to build those items into. So I'll be wasting a lot of gold. I don't want to do that. This game's extremely losable. In fact, based off kills, we are losing. I'd say we're definitely winning, though, based on our current position and double dragons. We can play for Drag Soul and be quite comfortable this game. Mordekaiser is doing a rundown. He has tier one boots plus rift. Felios, an item and a half plus tier two boots. Felios should have that if he kites it. And he certainly didn't kite that well. I wonder if he has vision on me. Hey, friend. Is he in range for a stride break yet? There it is. Down he goes. Set may not have great mobility, but he has more mobility than a Mordekaiser. <laughs> Mordekaiser doesn't have a single speed up in his kit. It's generally best on Mord to run Flash Ghost, in my opinion. Same way you do for a Trindomir set. Getting that extra mobility lets you 1v9 that much harder. Wait, you're seriously, Grom? You little butthole? Don't turn your back to me. And it's not even coming back after me. After I nearly destroyed him, he's just going to let bygones be bygones. I beat him to an inch of his life. He runs away and then pretends like I'm not there. What is, who does he think he is? I'm not doing with you yet. <laughs> We're basically just jungling at this point. None of them can step up to fight us. So taking these camps is relatively safe. <laughs> Race car mode, baby. Get him with the hook. Echo gives him an escape route. <laughs> Where you going, boy? And take him on a magical journey. We get some ghost extensions and an additional six seconds. 42% movement speed. Yeah, uh, this is mine, Mord. If you want to fight for it, come over here. I don't think he does want to fight a red buff set. Team late Herald mid. I should go over there. I don't have my R. Herald's going to wipe that turret, Mord. You got to run, Mord. Run! Stride break. Pull them together. Oh, my W'd a little bit late since Ezreal does have a blink and they quit. Woo! Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we have the most in the game. Very spicy. Looking at damage taken, we were eh, kind of tied with everybody. For self-mitigated, 
Okay, we didn't take the most damage, but we did the most damage. Good value out of our runes. If you guys enjoyed this set gameplay commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.